Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you this week's new releases. There are three for this week. Two of them are your usual half sheet stickers and I will be introducing my first kit this week too. So let's get into it. Uh, the first sheet I have is my buildings sheet. These are also hand-drawn stickers, like my character stickers. I have some other doodles as well. Um, these can be just used to mark any time you go to one of these type of buildings or if you have anything to do with your house, anything like that. So uh, the current buildings that I have here are a generic house, you have a grocery store, uh, and it says grocery store right there in really tiny font. I don't know if you can kind of see that, you can kind of tell. Um, you have a salon, a post office that also says post office in a really tiny font. You could probably see it a little bit better in person, but you can kind of see it like that. Um, this is just a generic storefront, so you could use that anytime you go shopping anywhere. Uh, this is an office building right here. This is an apartment building. You have a school and you have a hospital. And I think that is all of them. I have some smaller versions over here and I tried to keep them all within the same kind of color scheme because it looks good on the sheet, although it might not match your particular spread. That's just the colors I chose to go with. So that is your buildings sheet. And the next one we have is the, um, the movies sheet. So these are just your classic rainbow movie marquees using the rainbow color scheme that I use. Um, and these can be just used, you know, generically anytime you have a movie. And I use these almost every week because I watch movies almost every week. So in my spreads, I'm sure you'll see a bunch. Like we have this one here for Pirates of the Caribbean from last week's spread. So that's kind of the size they are. Um, I've used them in previous spreads too. Let me see if I can find one. Hmm, yeah, see there's The Incredibles 2 right there. So, <clears throat> so that's what you're going to get with movies. Um, and then the third one I have, the third release, is my college kit, which I did say I would be doing pretty soon. So these are my first full page um, sticker sheets, although it's technically not like a full 8x11 page, they're still still smaller than an 8x11, but this is the size that my sheets are. So um, this is a four and a half page kit, so it's pretty big. Um, but as usual, it's printable, so you can print out however many you need. Um, but it is made to last a while, like hopefully at least one semester, um, if you do print them off all at once instead of just as needed. So these are also rainbow. And let's get into sheet by sheet. So the first sheet is all just class stickers. So you have a place to write what class it is. And then the time from this time to this time and I'm trying to make them kind of small so that they wouldn't take up too much space in your actual spread because you know it's better for them to be smaller when you have so many classes so you have a lot in this particular page let me just count them real quick four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, so 4 by 13, um, 26 times 2, I think that's 52 if I'm, if I'm correct. So you have 52 uh, class markers. So hopefully that would be enough for one semester. It depends on how many classes you take, you can print off more if you need. So that's the first page. The second page is all homework. Um, so I think you have a similar number of homework stickers one two three four five six seven eight nine times four so 36 you have 36 homework stickers you're probably going to have more than 36 homework assignments you can use these to only mark the important ones or you can print off two of this particular sheet so this is all homework and there's a lot of them because that's probably the most common thing that you will need to mark if you're doing any kind of academic planning so now we get into the 
more uh, less sorry less common assignments and things and I tried to um, make stickers for events and assignments that I have experience with in college I understand that other people in different uh, areas of academic study might have different things they need to mark like labs and stuff and um, but I I tried to keep mine kind of generic but also uh, leaning towards what a liberal arts major might make use of so you have just generic assignment due up here um, reading assignments just generic studying for like tests you have your tests quizzes midterms final exams um, you have a couple oral finals right here a couple debates um, two presentations two project dues um, and then four essay dues at the bottom the, this uh, third page is kind of similar um, I think I only added some discussion posts um, and for new class uh, or no class sorry no class stickers and then four or two more discussion posts right there so it's pretty similar to the first one everything else is about the same except for those additions so those are the third and fourth pages and then the fifth page is mostly deco it's a half sheet so you have uh, eight different study meeting um, stickers so they're kind of based on the class stickers that I had on the first page so you still have a place to write you know which class it is or which class the study meeting is for and then the time that the meeting is going to be but it does say study meeting at the top so you know that that's what that is and then you have um, your classic just generic college deco um, pencils erasers kind of like a, a book bag briefcase kind of thing a notebook with grid paper pencil and eraser or sorry pencil and ruler uh, two backpacks book stacks laptops um, graduation cap you only get one because you're probably only gonna graduate once um, have some notebooks with pencils diploma and then a couple of tests let's say A plus or I guess just assignments so that is the college kit um, pretty big kit. It's one of my biggest, I think, but it's also incredibly functional. Uh, and I'm really pleased to be able to offer this because the reason I created it was because I looked on Etsy and I looked up college kits because um, I am just finishing up my college career, so I figured that might be kind of useful. But I could not find any that offered every single one of these things. There were not any college kits as big as or comprehensive as this so like they might have you know tests and homework and um, quizzes and just those generic things but like they wouldn't have you know presentation or project do or debate or anything like that so that's why I just decided to create my own so I'm, I'm really happy to be able to offer this and let me show you what they look like in my planner because I use these pretty much every week now that I am in class so let me see if I can zoom you in and let's have a look so here is um, homework and a presentation right here um, got an essay due over here I uh, overlap my stickers a lot so it might not be as clear let me flip to my monthly spread actually because it's a lot clearer there so I have you know French test I actually just um, I don't sell stickers that specifically say French test I just edited that on my own and printed it off just for this spread so you would just get the test sticker I have test essay due presentation uh, French test I think those are the only ones I marked here but yeah that is what they look like in the planner so this is the size they are compared to the monthly boxes and then this is just kind of what they look like in the uh, in the weekly spread so they are 1.5 inches the width of the Erin Condren vertical planner days so that is my releases for this week um, 
I will be back next week with three new releases, so stay tuned for that. Uh, as usual, I do have a um, a sign-up list that you can get on that I will put in the description box that you can sign up for with your email so that you can be notified when I do start selling physical sticker sheets so you'll get these actual sheets that you see here because right now they're all currently only printable. So you will need a cutting machine, preferably a silhouette because I do sell silhouette cut files in my Etsy shop or you can cut them out by hand if you want to. You will just need sticker paper. So. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you want to like, subscribe, comment, share the usual, um, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in my next video.